The contact page for a local business is actually very important and including the right information can really give the local business a boost both in organic rankings and in the Google local pack. So there's certain information that I absolutely want to include on my contact page. To give you an idea of some good information, you can go to any of the local citation sources. We can use Yelp, for example, and let's take a look for a particular business what information is included on this listing. You'll see here that they have reviews, they have a map, the address, a link to get directions to the actual business, they have their phone number, their web address, and then let's scroll down a bit. Here we'll see that they have their business hours listed, and then below they'll have some additional business information. This one is mostly specific to restaurants about taking reservations, if they do delivery, then they move on to some payment information, and so on. Now a lot of the information that they include here is something that you would also want to include on your contact page. So on a contact page, I'd like to include the business NAP information, which again is the business name, the business address, and the business phone number. Also very important for local businesses is to include a Google map on the contact page. You don't want this to be just an image, you actually want this to be an interactive map. You can choose whether or not you'd like to include directions, so if the business has a physical location, like this one is a restaurant for example, they want people coming to their business, you can actually write out directions for how people can get to the business, and you can also include a link where they can click to go to Google Maps to get directions as well. One thing that is very, very important here is that you make sure that you are using the exact address, the exact phone number, the exact business name that you are using on your Google My Business page and that you will also be using when we do citation building later in this course because consistency is crucial. You must have consistent information on your website as well as these other locations where we'll be listing the business as well. If you are in the United States, for example, and you and your business is in Texas, let's say, if you write out Texas versus just using the abbreviation of TX, for example, that causes the address to look buried. It is the same address, but just consistency. Make sure everything is the same. Here it says street, which is abbreviated ST. It is not spelled out S-T-R-E-E-T. -E -E so just make sure that you select one way to write the address and go with that consistently. You can also include your business hours, just like the Yelp page has here. They list out every specific day. A lot of the citations we'll look at later in this course will list them out the same way, so I like to do the same. And if you would like to, you can include payment information about what type of payment you accept as a business. That's a little more optional, but it's something, again, that's just helpful for viewers. So if you want to integrate Google Maps, it's very easy to do. There's plugins that will help you do this. But whether you are using a content management system or just coding the website, you can go to Google Maps, you can type in the business address and do a search. When the business comes up, you see it's in the right place, you can click on Share, Embed Map, and here you'll be able to select the size of the map that you would like, or you can also choose a custom size to fit your particular website. And then you simply copy this line of code and then you can paste it onto your contact page. So it is very simple, very straightforward. There's really no reason not to do this. Even if you don't know how to code, they couldn't make it much simpler for you. So let's take a look at a couple of businesses here. This particular business, they have gone with the full header as a map for their business, but that works. This is a Google map. People can zoom in, they can zoom out, they can look at where they are in relation to this particular business. Scrolling down, they have a contact page where their customers can get in touch. And on the right-hand side, they actually list out their specific address, their phone number, and their business hours. So it's a pretty good contact page. Here we have another business. While I like some of the things on their website, when I take a look at their contact page, 
they could be doing a lot more with this. They do list a phone number, but then they just have their generic contact page. They don't have a map. They don't have their actual address listed. They don't have any of their business hours. So they could actually get a boost in their rankings just by adding in some of this information. It really helps their website look more legit and it helps tie their website to Google My Business and also their citations in the eyes of Google. So it's something that they could do. So the first page I'm going to create on my website is going to be my contact page. You can call it whatever you would like. I'll just put get, get in touch for now. Since I'm using Divi, Divi has both a map and a contact page feature. So I can create this however I would like, but they also have an example contact page layout that you can load from the library as well. Now here you'll see this uses the full width map just like this example here did. So it would look something like this if I wanted to do that. Since this business that I'm working with, they do not want customers coming to their actual location, that's not something I want to do. I'd prefer to list a map lower on the page and just smaller so it doesn't really stand out quite so much. But I have the contact form here and I can go in and complete the information here put all the fields in that I would like to. And then over here on the right hand side for the text module, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the business phone number. I'm going to list out all the business addresses. And then below I will actually embed the map as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here for a moment and then I'll show you what this page ends up looking like. Okay, now I've gone ahead and completed my contact page. I've left the contact form here. I've removed the full image map header. I've gone ahead in the text area and I have added in my business information, including the, the phone number and the business hours. Uh, I have added a smaller map here since this business does not have a location where they want their customers to go. And when I go out to my demo site, this is what it's going to look like. You can see this is just a very basic contact page. I can certainly add some more text around the form if I'd like to, but the design isn't set up right now. I'm more concerned with getting my on-page optimization set up and then I can uh, start applying the design. So go ahead and take a few minutes now and add in the necessary information to your contact page and get it set up.